Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Young Har the YHC Basketball Arena, a.k.a. the Valley of Doom for Young Harris College Basketball. It is Battle of Blood Mountain. Young Harris taking on their arch rival across the mountain nemesis, the UNG Nighthawks from the beautiful city of Dahlonega, Georgia. Young Harris has won in this series three out of the last four, getting North Georgia by significant margins in their last two games. Expect them to be hungry, North Georgia. Young Harris can expect a stiff challenge tonight. Full house, crowded house, and packed house. All the things that we like. Tommy Jenkins and John C. Moon with you on the call here. We're getting ready for the playing of our national anthem, and then we'll take it down to our world-class PA announcer, Chris Mathis, for the starting lineups. Tommy and John with you on the Mountain Line Sports Network, powered by Ridgeline TV. Let's go down to the floor. Outstanding job as always by Purple Rain, and now we'll send it down to the floor to Chris Mathis and for the for the starting lineups for both teams. Starting for North Georgia, number 42, 6'8", senior out of Cartersville, Georgia, Karad Watson. Number 10, local guy, 6'2", 185-pound sophomore out of Hayesville, North Carolina, Josh Cottrell. Number 12, Bailey Miner. He's a 6'5 freshman out of Gainesville, Georgia. Number 21, seems like he's been there for everything. Ephraim Tishimanga, 6 foot, 180 pound senior from Ackworth. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 25, Darnell Snyder. He is a 6 foot freshman guard from La Polesburg, Belgium. 
Nighthawks are coached by Dan Evans in his first year at Dahlonega, assisted by Adam Blake and Austin Barnett. And now for your Young Harris College Mountain Lions. At guard, 5'9", June Senior. It's wishful thinking from Memphis, Tennessee, Brian Harper. At guard, at forward, number 10 from Apaka, Florida, number 10, 6'5", Nate Lewis. Coming to us from Hills of Verm, the Netherlands, 6'3", freshman, number 13, Mickey Toddich. Number three comes to us out of Port Royal, South Carolina, Ryle Owens, and rounding out the starting lineup, 6'2", senior from Jonesboro, Georgia, number four, Paul Miller. Mount Lions are coached by Jeremy Currier, assisted by Calvin Walker, Andre Smith, and A.J. Clark. Tommy and John with you on the Mountain Lions Sports Network. Glad you're here. Tough loss for a lady. He's got beat bad on the boards. Lost by 14. We battled, just came up short. And now let's see if Young Harris can continue a winning streak on this court. Beat them bad the last two times. Have won seven out of nine games, I believe it is here, and lead the overall series 12 to six. Key for Young Harris against a veteran team is to get off to a good start. Take care of the basketball, value possessions, win the battle of the boards. Nothing new tonight for Young Harris. We're going to be outsized. Uh, we're outsized by everybody we play. We're used to it by now. But get the crowd into it. If you're in North Georgia, that's the thing you want to do is you want to take the crowd out of it. This is an overpassed capacity crowd. Young Harris controls. Brian Harper will run the point. He'll get dribble penetration, go up off the glass, and in. And Young Harris gonna come out in 94. Young Harris has been much better as a press team of late. Struggled with it early. In transition, taking it down and laying it up and in is the big freshman out of Gainesville, Bailey Miner. And foul on Bailey Miner. And going to be Young Harris ball. We're tied at two. Nighthawks are led by Steeple in scoring. He does that coming off the bench. Senior out of Homer, Georgia at 12-9. K.J. Jenkins at 12-8. Tishimanga at 11-7. Harper leads Young Harris. And going to be a quick foul on Josh Cottrell from the Hazel, North Carolina, just right across the line, six miles from here, and it will be Young Harris ball. Nighthawks in a man, Harper with the ball. He'll be checked by Tishmanga. Owens thought about the three ball. He'll back it up. Hand off to Harper. Gives it to Owens, 10 on the shot clock to Toddich. Mick will back it up. Now he'll put it on the floor, got to go, six. Turn around, fading away, leaves it short. Rebound pulled off by North Georgia. This is Tishmonga going the other way. Young Harris will get in the 2-3 zone. Dribble penetration, kick out, and it's going to be a traveling violation on Snyers. Snyers, freshman out of Belgium. Young Harris ball, capacity crowd. If everybody was to sit down, they couldn't all find a seat. Chris Collins going to check in for Young Harris. We're going to get the four in to Owens. Owens to Harper and going to get a moving screen on Nate Lewis. Calling it tight. And when you look at the crew on the floor, that don't surprise you. Young Harris going to come with a full man. Fresh four in, Archie, McCoy, Chris Collins, Jonathan King. Young Harris will get in its one, two, two now. Look, three, two, we'll flatten it out into. Cottrell left side three ball is gonna go over the backboard and it'll be Young Harris ball. Slow start, two, two.
Harper will bring it down. He will spin, get in the paint. Nice feed. It's going to be last touched by Karad Watson. Harper to inbound. We'll get the ball into Jonathan King. He's going to put the ball on the floor, kick out McCoy. Thought about the three. Got to get him going. He's been going good of late. Harper out to McCoy. Catch and shoot. Look for a catch and shoot. Good close out. 12 on the shot clock. Harper hedging out on him. Nice cut. Collins with the finish. Young Harris up 4-2. Collins with a nice finish. And Miner, he give it up, Tishmonga. Gonna drive the paint, Collins, and they're gonna get Collins for a block. First on Collins. First team foul. In the corner, Cottrell, they got a double team. He'll kick it out top of the key, swing right. Ball stolen away by Collins, and he'll have it poked out from behind by Snyers. Be Young Harris ball just underway, 17-35, Mountain Lions lead 4-2. Slow start, not the blitz, blitz Krieg that we started out with last year. At halftime of this game, about 200 of our student athletes are gonna be recognized for their academic achievements. Impressive, yes. Archie works against Cottrell at the elbow. Communication today, thought that McCoy was gonna step out. McCoy was cutting in. Young Harris turns the ball over. Fresh five come in. And Young Harris will come with the pressure. Having a hard time getting in. Finally, Tishmonga gets the ball and Miller fouls him. And you've got a crew here that thinks this 1,300 people came to see them know that they're gonna call it close. Young Harris staying with the pressure. NBA three is no good. Watson gets the board, they'll get a fresh 20. Long skip over to Cottrell, he'll feed the post, cutting down, ball's on the floor. King, excuse me, Nate Lewis gonna come, they're gonna get a foul. Gonna be foul's gonna be on Tishmanga, it's gonna be third team foul on the Nighthawks, both teams with three fouls. Gonna walk it down. Young Harris double high. Oh, tried to alley oop, couldn't get it down. Lewis just missed it. Love the effort. And they'll feed the high post kick out. Gonna get a look at the three. No, we close out well. Cottrell top of the key three leaves it short. Lewis with the board, gets it out to Harper. He's gonna kick it back, Lewis, around to Tottich. Miller, he's got a lane, puts it in, no foul. Wow. Cottrell with the board, out on the left side. Slow start offensively, great hustle, Tottich. Harper in transitions, kicks it to Tottich. Three ball, count it! And the Mountain Lions lead by five. Poetic justice. Tottich with a great hustle play down on the other end, gets the three ball down on this end. Quickly, North Georgia comes, stop, pop on the elbow. No good, Harper with the board. You know what he's gonna do? 
turns on the Jets, blows through, up off the glass shot block. Young Harris Miller, bodies flying everywhere. It's going to be last touch by Young Harris. Media timeout. 7-2, Mountain Lions lead. Mountain Lion basketball on the Mountain Lion Sports Network, powered by Ridgeline TV. Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas. say thank you to our game sponsors, Brasstown Valley Resort and Spa here in the beautiful Brasstown Valley, Young Harris, the Enchanted Valley, Benchmark Physical Therapy and Pro Therapy in Young Harris and in Blairsville, Sharp Memorial Church, your community church in Young Harris, 8.30 and 8.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sundays. And thank you, Union General Health Care System, Mountain Lions Up 5. Changing it up, going to the one, two, two. Jumping at it, dribble penetration, kick out, left side three ball is good. Flat but good, Zest Steeple, their leading score, it's a two point game. Young Harris, three of seven, 43%. North George off to a slow start, one of five, 20%. King looking to put it on the floor, straight line drive, feeds out to Collins, kicks out to McCoy. Pass was off a little bit or he gets a fresh look at a three. Back to McCoy, to Harper, 12 on the shot clock. King with the ball, gotta go. Takes it up, nice speed Collins off the glass, can't get it down. Rebound pulled off by Zach Brown, 6'6", sophomore out of Princeton, New Jersey, was checked in. Young Harris in the three, two. At the elbow, left-handed jumper, no good. Archie with the board, down to Collins, and the ball's on the floor. Collins falls down, no foul. Harper playing defense, and we're tied at seven. Harper quickly back the other way, finds Collins King. They're gonna get him for the travel, and it's gonna be North Georgia ball. Young Harris, next four in. Young Harris going to go back with the full 94. Young Harris with Owens, the starting lineup. Owens, Lewis, Miller, Toddich. And got Brian Free in, so Harper going to get a rare break. Steeple drives, ball's kicked by Lewis. Looking to inbound, nice inbounds play. Oh, he got away with a walk. Long three ball steeple, no good. Rebound by Young Harris, and it's going to be a foul over the back. Going to come against, I think it's Tyler Dean who has checked in. 6'5", senior out of Rome, Georgia. Be Young Harris ball, no pressure from the Nighthawks. We're tied at seven. Low scoring affair. It'll probably still end up in the hundreds. Todd, it's to Miller. Both teams just nobody's He's really getting shots off right now. Defensively, it's been good. Defense, 
Bree will hand off to Owens, looking for the straight line drive, lost the handle of it. Young Harris ball underneath, seven on the shot clock, 13.22 to go in the first half. Low scoring affair, you don't say that much here at the Valley of Doom. Free to inbound, Young Harris box look on the inbounds. Trying to find somebody, knocked loose. Harper to inbound to Toddich. Tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Toddich, ooh, driving, kicks out. Miller just, and it's gonna be a backcourt violation. Hit the shot clock. North Georgia got a good defensive game plan tonight. Really shutting down lanes for Young Harris and not giving us any open look on the three. Young Harris likewise playing good defense on the other end. KJ Jenkins playing the point. Six foot freshman out of Canton, Georgia. Tied at seven. Not many shots taken here. Young Harris in a two three. We got a foul away from the ball. Really, so many fouls, turnovers in the sort that neither team really able to get a flow going offensively, which I think really plays into North Georgia's favor. Young Harris wants it to be an up and down fair. A lot of whistle blowing is keeping it from being that. Handoff to Owens, comes off the screen from Lewis, step back. It's a two, foot was just inside the line. And it's a 9-7 game. Bailey Miner back in the inbound, running the baseline. Gets it to Steeple. Miller got the defensive pressure on him. Fresh five coming in. And gonna be a blocking foul on Lewis. Good call, he was moving. So Young Harris yet, nobody with two, nobody with two for North Georgia. This is gonna put Zach Brown, the sophomore out of Princeton, New Jersey at the line to shoot two. Young Harris leads nine, seven. Free throw no good. Fresh five in. Hits one out of two. And the mountain line's up by one. King looking to drive, uses his body. And the foul. Just, man, we've had good looks, just couldn't get it down. King was foul. Gonna go the line to shoot two, and we're, we're starting to find the penetration. If we can finish some stuff, that's gonna open up. King. 48% free throw shooter, 9.7 on the season, if I'm looking at this right. First free throw, good. Hits them both. Young Harris up by three. Bringing the zone press. And gonna get a foul on Ja'Cory Archie and that's gonna be fifth team foul on Young Harris. And that's gonna be, I think, Ja'Cory's second. Jonathan King already with two fouls, so Young Harris getting in some foul trouble in the early goings here. Nope, just Ja'Cory's first. And strong take for North Georgia quickly. Harper coming back the other way. This could be an entertaining ball game to watch. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to be.
Georgia works against the zone. Inside, inside out, Young Harris forces the turnover. Archie in transition, up off the glass, can't get it down, good tip, can't get it down. Young Harris has had its opportunities. Back the other way, ball's on the floor. Harper, that's where you want the ball, down to Archie. He thought about the three, he'll step back. Three ball, no good. Collins with the board. Ain't gonna get a foul on. I don't know what the call was. Must be North Georgia ball. We got a media timeout, 11.28 to go in the first half. Young Harris leads 11-10. Mount Lion Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. Tonight in the Peach Belt, Augusta at USC Aiken. Whoa, what a game that would be. Francis Marion at UNC Pembroke, Columbus State at Georgia Southwestern, Flagler at Clayton State, Georgia College at Lander. Here Young Harris leads 11-10. Near steal by Jonathan King, gotta get back. Staple. Three ball is good from KJ Jenkins. North Georgia gets its first lead of the game. King feeds into Collins, kicks out Archie, three ball, good! And Young Harris up by one. Young Harris will get in the one, two, two with the press. Getting down to the 10 minute mark, low scoring for what you would expect but that could change so quickly. Dribble penetration, kick out, coming baseline, and it'll be a blocking foul on Young Harris. And I'm concerned about the fouls that are piling up. Foul is on Collins, his second. We got two with two fouls. Got our next five, actually four coming in. Just the 16. Looking to get it in, to get it into Staple. Works around to Jenkins. Staple dribble penetration, kick out Jenkins, three ball. No good, tracked down by Ryle Owens. He'll find Harper, Harper looking to push. Always head up, always pushing. Around to Miller, thought about the three to Harper. Makes the handoff to Toddich. Mick will give it up to Miller. Paul draws the contact. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Paul, 37 from 47 from the line. He's a 78% free throw shooter. First free throw's good. Young Harris is three of three from the charity stripe. Young Harris is cooled off. We're 38% from the field, but 67% from behind the arc. North Georgia shooting 41% from the field, but they're 28% from the arc. They're one of two from the free throw line. Miller misses the second. Rebound pulled off by, by Shimonga. 
Now Harris brings the double on him. And gonna get Lewis with the foul. If that's Nate, that's his third. Is that right? Three fouls, I guess so. That's three, that hurts, that's your rim protector. So let's see what Coach Courier's strategy. A lot of times Coach Courier will just stay with the player and he'll say next man up. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with small lineup here. So we get a whole lot smaller and a whole lot quicker. Not saying that Nate Lewis isn't quick, just saying that Brian Free, B Free is extremely quick. Shimong at the line. Free throws are good, and we're tied at 15. Here comes Harper. Back to be free. To Harper, finds Todd at Schmick looking to go baseline. Good ball movement. Miller with the right hand. Gets it off the front rim. Good. Young Harris leads by two. Here comes the pressure. I think Young Harris is committed to the press tonight. And good hands by Toddich. Knocks it out of bounds. Next four in. King Collins, Archie, and McCoy. Be great to get McCoy going. He's yet to shoot the basketball. Inbound pass comes into Shimonga. Cottrell back in. Wow, is that not three seconds? Cottrell jumper is good. And North Georgia leads two. Free to McCoy, back to Harper. Archie looking to pierce the dome. Harper, ball knocked out of bounds. Young guy's got 13 seconds to do something with it. Inbound to Harper, excuse me, to King. Good take. Oh, man, we've had a dozen of those tonight. Nothing you can do about it, just a good shot. Didn't go down. We've had a bunch of rim outs tonight. Maybe in the second half, them fall in. They get a good, clean look inside. They can't finish. 50-50 ball comes off to King in transition to Archie. Harper going to spot up for the three. It's good! And the Mountain Lions lead by three. Minor. They're going to get some dribble penetration, and it's going to be a travel. Good call. Biggest lead for either team has been Young Harris at five early in the game, 7-2. we got a timeout on the floor. Comes to 7.50 mark. Mountain Lions lead 2017. Mountain Lion basketball on the Mountain Lions Sports Network. Powered by Ridgeline TV. When you combine quality products, excellent customer service, and the best prices in the area, the result is Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing. In business since 1963, Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing has served the surrounding area with a variety of home improvement supplies. Everything from vinyl siding in many colors, trim pieces, shutters, soffits, vents, and accessories. Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing, located west of Blairsville on Highway 515.
Young Harris up next this weekend at Lander over in Greenwood, South Carolina. That's a 3.30, 1.30 tip for women, 3.30 for men. We will then be on the road next Wednesday at Clayton State before returning home February the 8th, a Saturday with Francis Marion, and then February 12th with Georgia Collins. King taking it to the hole, going to get a traveling violation. Turnovers, Young Harris turned the ball over six times, eight times for North Georgia. Battle of the boards, North Georgia leads 10-8. And we get to steal, got a two on one. Archie, and gonna be a charge. And for Archie, that's his second. Good to take advantage of those, they take a charge. And Young Harris again nearly forces the turnover. Ooh, nearly a second time. Young Harris really getting good pressure. This is Cottrell. Next four coming in. They get it to Miner inside. He goes up, can't get the shot down to tip. It's going to be control ball. It's going to be last touch by Young Harris. Young Harris had some opportunities. Just couldn't corral the ball. Here comes the next four in. Snires, the freshman from Belgium, to inbound. Gets the ball into Staple. Cottrell looked at the three. They'll get a three ball in the corner. It is no good. Miller with the board. Young Harris out running. North Charger really getting a good job getting back defensively. Harper with the take. Oh, my goodness. We've had so many just rim out. Golly. These rim outs, we'd have, whew, we'd have 35 points right now. But Harper going to get a chance to shoot two. Where he's a good free throw shooter. Just under, we'll call it 80%, 82 for 103, 0.796 to be precise. Oh, and he misses that when he fell below 80%. Technically, he was already below 80%. Full house, looks good. Tell you, I believe if we could get this kind of intensity and enthusiasm and crowd every night, I believe we'd go 28-0 every year. Harper hits one out of two. Mount Lions lead by four. Coming with the pressure, old Paul Miller nearly had it. And they're not going to give up. Three ball minor, no good. Toddich with the board. Gets it to Harper. Harper kicks it back to Owens. Three ball! Yes, it is good! And the Mountain Lions lead seven. <laughs> Dribble penetration, kick out. Backing it out is KJ Jenkins. Young Harris with its biggest lead of seven. Dribble penetration, three ball. No good. Rebound comes out to Miller. Here comes Harper in transition. Harper kick out. Todd is going to go. We're going to have a look at the three. Miller going to take the look. We're going to leave it way short. Well, all of our student athletes is getting ready to get recognized for their academic achievements. Bugging out, and I just hope they'll stay. Three ball is good. Four-point game. Nice spin, Owens off the glass, can't get the shot down. Paul, I'm not sure what Paul was doing there, got a bear hug on him. That's gonna be his second. Concerned about the fouls for Young Harris. Inside of five minutes, very low scoring game. 
very low scoring game. 24-20. This is gonna put Shimonga, senior out of Ackworth, to the line. 53% free throw shooter. It's the front end of the one and one. Still a good crowd in here. Looked like 300 people just walked well, out. 200 people did just walk out. But a good crowd. Second free throw, no good. McCoy with the board. Got to get him going. Somehow, some way. Harper weaving through traffic. Out to Archie. Puts a runner up. Gets his tip up and in. And it's five point Young Harris lead. 26 21. I think if you're North Georgia right now, you like to score. I mean, you like them, like that you're down but you like that it's not in the 40s right now, that you feel it's more to your pace. Alley Oop throws it down. Three point game, Young Harris quickly back the other way. Harper to McCoy. Here comes Jonathan King and he throws it down and gets fouled. And one. King right back at you. Free throw, no good. Brown with the board. Had a double team, good job getting through it. Oh, nobody picks that up. And it's an easy bucket, uncontested on that end, three point game. Harper, oh, Archie. Stays with it, didn't get the dunk, lost the handle, but stayed with it and got the bucket. Two points the same way. And Young Harris gonna give up a easy three on the other end. Steeple scores and barks at the Young Harris bench. Three ball McCoy, no good. Steeple falls down, does a good job keeping his dribble. And it's a two point game. Getting down to three minute mark. Young Harris has led the majority of the game, but it's been close the entire way. Dribble penetration, no good. King with the board to Harper. Weaving traffic, gives it to McCoy. Back to Harper, or kick out Archie, gonna shoot the three, it's good! And Mount Lions lead by five. Fall back into the one, two, two. Steeple gonna shoot the three, it's good. And it's a two point game. King gonna pack it in, feeds down to Chris Collins. Has his pockets picked by Josh Cottrell. He will bring it the other way. Three ball, no good. Rebound McCoy out to Harper. McCoy gonna shoot the three, no good. Archie, nope. 50-51 ball won by Jenkins. Two point game. North Georgia gotta feel good about yourself right now. They're gonna slow it down. Young Harris gets into two, three. We're inside of two minutes. NBA three is no good. King with the board. Young Harris gonna slow it down now. Collins top of the key comes to Archie. Down to Harper who gives it back to Archie. Thought about the three. Gives it to King who's gonna put the ball on the floor. Spins on Cottrell. Gives it back to Harper. Seven on the shot clock. Gotta go. 
Collins going to shoot the three. It's good with time running out. And Young Harris leads by five. Getting down to the minute mark. Next four waiting to come in. Dribble penetration feed and going to be a foul. And remember who it's going to be on. It's going to hurt. It's going to be on Chris Collins, his third. Worry about the foul trouble. Got the next four coming in. I wish we could have got them in. We'd have had a dead ball where we got them in before that. We got two guys with three fouls. Got a timeout on the floor. Mountain Line basketball, Ridgeline TV. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. One more time, I want to say thank you, our corporate sponsors, our game sponsors, Brasstown Valley, Benchmark and Pro Therapy, Sharp Memorial United Methodist Church, and our corporate sponsor, Union General Health Care System. Free throw no good off the fingertips of Zach Brown. Big sophomore out of Princeton, New Jersey. Misses them both. Owens with the rebound. Down to Miller. Gives it to Toddich, top of the key, back to Harper. Harper to Miller. Hands off to Owens. They cut him off. Good closeout. Harper working around quickly. And they're going to get a travel on Miller. That hurt. 1.3 seconds differential, shot clock, game clock. And young Harris going to come full here. Going to come with the full 94. A little mismatch down there. Todd, it's giving up a lot of size. Young Harris quickly back the other way. It's three-point game. Shot clock's off, 14 seconds. Now Harp's just going to be Harp here, look to create. 6-5, here he goes. Little runner gets stuffed and jump ball, and it's going to be North Georgia ball. 36-33.3 seconds. Ball belongs to North Georgia. Not much they can do with this. I don't think. Cottrell to throw it in. And they're just going to let it run out. Good first half. Picked up offensively in tempo the last 10 minutes, which I think is to Young Harris' favor. Game had some pace to it. Young Harris is hopefully their depth maybe is War North Georgia down a little bit. 36-33. Warhawks, Nighthawks shot 44% from the field. Young Harris shot 44% from the field. Young Harris was 60% from behind the arc. North Georgia was 33.3. 3. 
Young Harris four of seven from the free throw line, 50%. Uh, battle of the boards, Young Harris actually on top, 18-7. Young Harris t turned the ball over 10 times, North Georgia nine. Young Harris led in scoring by Ja'Cory Archie with 10. Zach Steeple led all scores with 11. We'll be back for the second half. Right now we're gonna get it down on the floor where 200 of our student athletes are going to be appreciated and recognized for their academic achievement. Mount Lion Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Well, they would like to
Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas. Constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. When you combine quality products, excellent customer service, and the best prices in the area, the result is Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing. In business since 1963, Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing has served the surrounding area with a variety of home improvement supplies. Everything from vinyl siding in many colors, trim pieces, shutters, soffits, vents, and accessories. Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing, located west of Blairsville on Highway 515. Locally owned since 1980, Leon's Flooring is your full-service flooring store with the largest showroom in the area, guaranteed to save you money with over 50 years of total sales experience. The folks at Leon's Flooring are experts in ceramic tile, carpet, hardwoods, and vinyl. Located at 568 Murphy Highway in Blairsville, next to the Mexican restaurant and across from Mike's Seafood. Leon's Flooring, call them today at 706-745-9433. Oh, and by the way, say hello to Diesel while you're there. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. For years, your source for sales, parts, accessories, and service for golf carts has been North Georgia Golf Carts. Now they're at a new, more convenient location. Owner Rick Goddard and staff are there to assist you with all your golf cart needs. They sell and service all types of golf carts, from Easy Go to Club Car to Yamaha. And they provide pickup and delivery for any service work. That's North Georgia Golf Carts, now located east of Young Harris near the intersection of U.S. Highway 76 and State Highway 17 North. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas.
constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. Getting ready to get the second half underway. Close ball game in every sense of the word. Uh, wow, 36-33. Both teams shot 44%. Young Harris 44-8, 44-4 for North Georgia. Rebound, Young Harris out rebounded by one. Turnovers, Young North Georgia one less turnover than Young Harris. Points off of turnovers, Young Harris 5-4. In the paint, 12-12. Close game. Uh, first 10 minutes, I think if you go by pace, that North Georgia was in their favor. Young Harris, um, last 10 minutes, offense picked up, and I think key for Young Harris is if Young Harris can continue and build over the pace that they had the last five, six, seven minutes of the game, uh, could be good for them. What really concerns me about Young Harris Got two key players, and both of them your rim protectors, your big guys on both units, Chris Collins and Nate Lewis with three fouls apiece. Nate Lewis is back out there, just got to be smart. Young Harris ball coming out. Owens kick out. Harper got him a lane. And draws the contact. He'll go the line to shoot two. Crowd's still pretty good. We had about, I said 200, I apologize. It was 226, I think. 226 student athletes, 3.0 for the last semester, which is 55% of young hair student athlete population. Harper, first free throw is good. 
Harper, seven points, one board, four assist. And knocks the second down. Young Harris got the lead up to eight. Young Harris's biggest lead was seven points at the 527 mark of the first half, 24-17. North Georgia led by two, 13-11 at the 11-12 mark. Three ball Cottrell is no good. Todd, it's good inside position with the rebound. Miller right back to Harper. To Ryle Owens, gives it to Toddich, looking to drive, gives it to Harper, back to Toddich. Thought about the three, spins, and gonna get a foul on North Georgia. That's their second team foul in 50 seconds. Nobody in North Georgia with three. Dean's got two, Shimonga's got two, Brown's got two. Harper works off the screen. Gives it to Miller, looking the straight line drive. They're really doing a good job shutting the lanes down. Seven on the shot clock. Harper step back three, no good. Miller nearly got the board. And Young Harris nearly got the turnover and Miller sliding through, takes the legs of Miner out. Miller gonna pick up his third. So we got three players with three fouls. has played 10. Nice feed, but Young Harris, good quick hand, slapped the ball out trying to feed Miller, split the uh, minor, split the double team, and he was cutting down the baseline, but Young Harris got some quick hands in there, couldn't make out who it was. Slapped out of bounds, it's gonna be North Georgia ball underneath, 14 on the shot clock. Glad to have our band back with us tonight. Can't say enough about how much the band adds to the atmosphere. It adds to everything in this place. Five on the shot clock, close out, close out, close out. That's gonna be a shot clock violation. Great defensive stand by Young Harris. Now we can get something on the other end of the floor. North Georgia's in a man. They've been in it the whole time. Young Harris is alternating between 2 3 and a 1 2 2 or 3 2, but so it may it be. Ooh, look like King had a lane. And can't get the shot down, but Collins, good quick hands, gets a put back. Mount Lions lead by seven. And going to get a foul on Young Harris. And as much as we're wanting to press and as much as this helping us control flow, not sure how much longer we can go with this fouling. Now we've got four or five pretty good quality guys that, you know, can come in. But now that was Chris Collins' fourth. And he's still out there. And we get the turnover, Harper up and off the glass, can't get it down, but Ja'Cory Archie puts it back up and the mountain line lead is nine. That's our largest. Next four coming in. Ain't gonna be an offensive. Wow. Unbelievable. This guy is unbelievable. Blocking foul on Young Harris. On Jonathan King, his third. We have got a mess of foul trouble. 
we got a nine point lead, but we're in trouble with fouls right now. Contra looking to drive, kicks out, three ball is good. That was Darnell Snyers. North Georgia needed that. Nate Lewis and no foul there. How in the world? Just incredible. Travel, I'm surprised they didn't call that a blocking foul. So Young Harris has Lewis with three, Miller with three, Collins with four. Free working off a screen from Miller, kicks it out. Miller gets knocked down. He's going to go to the line to shoot three. Foul was on Tyler Dean. It's going to be his third, I believe. Maybe just a second. No, it's going to be his third. Miller will go to the line to shoot three. Paul is 78% free throw shooter. This is the first. We've had a tough night from the line. Well, yeah. Wow, missed two. Really opportunities to stretch it out here. They don't, they call them, they're for, call them free. They don't call them free for no reason. Missed all three. Wow, that hurts. Ryle Owens gets a rebound and he gets fouled. So Young Harris may be able to salvage this possession. Foul was on Styers. Snyers. Having trouble getting the ball in. Alley oop. And Owens gets fouled. So Ryle going to go to the line to shoot two. Ryle third in the team in scoring at 4.3, and he's a 78% free throw shooter. Wow. <laughs> Golly. Nothing surprises me though in this, with this gang. Miller runner and he gets fouled and Paul's gonna get a chance to do it again. I think, I think, I don't know. They may have called that on the floor. Technical on somebody. And I think technical is going to be on Tyler Dean. And that's his fourth. So Brian Harper going to get a chance to shoot free throws. Seems like we've been on this end of the floor for a week. And we haven't got no points to show for it. Now we do. Struggling at the free throw line, man, kind. Now Miller gonna shoot again. We are seven of 14 from the free throw line.
And the woes continue. And Paul Savage has won. So what turned out about five minutes ago would be an opportunity to get three points. Turns out that we got two out of it. We got a got a player fouled out. Tyler Dean, he's fouled out. So Makai Fox is checking. I kind of had a feeling this might be where we might go next with the foul trouble. And we've got some options, some guys that hadn't played. They're quality players. So they're not in the flow of the game. Three ball is no good. King with the board out to Harper. Down to Archie off the glass. Can't get it. Gets his board. Jump ball is going to belong to North Georgia. Young Harris, golden opportunity there to score in transition. We lead by eight, 44-36, a lot of time to go. And I think we've got a, you knew it was coming. Media timeout, 15.57 to go. Peach Belt basketball on the Mountain Lion Sports Network. Constantly challenging ourselves as a college means more learning opportunities, better teaching, more innovative programs, greener facilities, a stronger community, and happier students. Every choice we've made reinforces our mission to help educate, inspire, and empower you. Young Harris College, this is the place where your future unfolds. Forty-four thirty-six, Young Harris with its. We all know our largest lead was nine, back at the seventeen eighteen mark. One two two, half court. Got Makai Fox in now, in place of Chris Collins in this rotation. Oh, we nearly got a steal. King nearly had it. Dribble penetration, and that's where you really miss Chris Collins. They score a six-point game. King loses the handle on it, and here comes North Georgia. And a charge. Harper takes the charge, and the next unit is coming in. So Harper with the ball, leading by six. And Harris has led 81-2% of this game. The ball's tied up. We got a young Harris player hurt. Looks like Harper. Brian Free gonna come in. Harper gets up, walks it off. He'll head to the training table, I think. So Brian Free in. Harper, good night. Nine points, one board, four assists, one steal. Archie leads Young Harris with 12. He leads all scores. Owens catches the inbound. Takes it to the hole. Shots blocked, but Paul Miller gets it right back and loses it. And Paul, you just got to leave that one alone. Paul going to pick up his fourth foul.
three ball from the left side is good. That was Darnell Snires, this three-point game. North Georgia seems to have gained momentum as we turn the ball over. And Coach Curry are going to get a timeout as Young Harris kind of losing focus right now. North Georgia's cut it from nine to three in a short amount of time, 44-41, 14-44 to go. A lot of fours, mountain line basketball on Ridgeline TV. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. So North Georgia has really seized momentum in this game over the last few minutes. And Harris is scoreless in their last 140. And in that time, North Georgia's gone on a 5-0 run. Young Harris has two players with four fouls, and one of them's out there on the floor right now. Stop and pop is good. And North Georgia's cut it to one. Harris got a fresh five coming in. And a moving screen. And that's going to be on Ryan Owens. And that's just his first, I think. So North Georgia can take the lead here. They're on a 7-0 run right now. Three ball, no good. Comes off to North Georgia. They get the 50-50 ball. And Young Harris trying to get a turnover. Harper has to jump over to Corey Archie, but gets it. McCoy in the corner, three ball is good. Oh, did we need that? Did we need that? McCoy gets his first bucket of the game. Mountain Lions got it up by four. Dribble penetration, right hand, nice take. That was Steeple. Here comes Harper. He's going to come right back at you. King packing it down. Nice feed to Makai Fox. Goes up with the left hand and scores, and Young Harris gets it back to four. Steeple, he's a player. Young Harris going to maybe get a turnover. Great hustle by King, throwing it off the head of Steeple. Cottrell and Mine are getting ready to check back in for North Georgia. So it'd be Young Harris ball leading by four. He's got Lander over at their place Saturday, then Clayton State next Wednesday. We'll come back home the following Saturday for Francis Marion. King really packeted it on minor, on, excuse me, Cottrell. He draws the contact. He'll go the line to shoot two. So this will be Jonathan King. 
He's got four points. He's two of, two of three from the free throw line. First free throw, no good. And that has been a struggle for us. We've been there 16 times. We're eight of 16. You look at a four point game and you, you don't know, you look at how many maybe front ends of one and ones and probably the difference in being single digits and double digits. He gets one out of two. We get it back up to five. Young Harris half court press. Steep a long pass going baseline, pull up jumper on the baseline is good. Nice stroke by KJ Jenkins, freshman out of Canton, Georgia. And leads three for Young Harris. King feeds Harper right side, right back to King, looking to pack it in. Packs Cottrell in, goes up with the right hand off the glass. Thinking he's thinking, Young Harris thinking we got a mismatch there and gonna take advantage of it where they can. Five point lead, King now with five. Young Harris has gone to the half court predominantly. Nice feed to Miner. And Makai Fox fouls him. And he'll go to the line for a three point play. Miner, a 40% free throw shooter. And he hits that one. Didn't look like a 40% on that stroke. Maybe I read that wrong. Two point game. Free running the point. Harper gonna get a break, gives it up to Tottich. Around to Miller, Paul out there with four fouls. Hands off to Owens, take and gets it down and a foul. Nice take for Ryle Owens. Foul was on Cottrell and we've got a timeout. It's a media 54-50, Mount Line Basketball, Ridgeline TV. In NCAA Division II, student athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. All right, thank you, Spa Game Sponsors, Brasstown Valley Resort and Spa here in the Enchanted Valley, Benchmark and Pro Therapy in Young Harris and in Blairsville, Sharp Memorial United Methodist Church, your community church here in the beautiful valley. Services 8:30 and 11. Union General Healthcare System, our corporate sponsor. Ryle Owens at the free throw line converts on a three-point play. And the mountain line lead is five, 55, 50. Still a lot of time though. Young Harris dealing with some massive foul trouble, been able to work through it. And gonna get Brian free and that's gonna be seventh team foul on Young Harris. And that's gonna put Steeple at the line. Steeple's had a good evening. He's their leading scorer, comes off the bench. He's got 13 tonight, leads all scores. First free throw is good. And hits a second, it's a three point game. It's been this way the entirety. Biggest lead's been nine for Young Harris. Oh, 
Ooh, bullet pass down to Collins, who's back in. Cottage back to Collins, setting him up for the three ball. Can't get it down. Rebound pulled off by Miller. Young Harris gets a fresh 20. Free gonna shoot the three, and it's good, baby. Be free off the bench with a three ball. Young Harris coming back with the 94. Good pressure, Toddich, but Steeple, nice left hand runner. Wow, what a play. Young Harris right back at you. Next five coming in. Miller going the distance, draws the contact. He will go to the line to shoot two. So Miller at the free throw line. Paul's had a tough night from the free throw line, two of seven. Normally a very good free throw shooter. Look like Paul on that one. 78% coming in. Gets its first, Young Harris gets it up to five. Hits them both, and the lead's back up to six. 60-54. Miller comes out, Archie in, so we got McCoy, Harper, King, Archie, and Fox out there. Fox on the front end of the press. They'll hit the middle with it, good press break. Kick out, Staple works against King. Staple to Cottrell, thought about the three. Dribble penetration. Strong take by Staple. And it's a four point game. Young Harris just cannot get any separation from this team. King got straight line drive. Passes out. Ooh, it's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to get the ball. And it seems that every time in North Georgia, Young Harris gets an opportunity to pull away that North Georgia's able to do something to keep in it. They're not going away. Got a trap in the corner on Steeple. And they lose the ball. Archie will come out with it. And he can't hold on to it. Wow. Tough breaks tonight. Three ball, it's good. You gotta know where he's at. And it's a one point game. Steeple's got 17. Harper down to Fox, he's double teamed. They tie him up. New five in. And Young Harris has gone back with the full. And we nearly got the turnover. They've got a three on two, steeple three ball. Oh, wow. Chris Collins just got jerked down, no foul. Harper in transition. And Eric Pass Cottrell comes out with it. He'll feed it to steeple three ball. No good, Miller comes out with it. Young Harris with a win tonight will be in eighth place, which seemed unfathomable just a few days ago, but got a win at first. Toddich, and they're gonna get him with the offensive push off. North Georgia, who is, has led 0.9% of the minutes in this game. He's got a chance to take a lead here.
And they can't get shot down. Harper with the board. Harper in transition out to Miller. Three ball. Yes! And Young Harris gets it back up to four. Looks like new unit coming in. It's going to be three. Oh, Young Harris nearly, nearly, nearly got the steal down there on the baseline. North Georgia holding hips, grabbing knees. That's always a good sign when you're playing this style of offense. New unit in. We've got McCoy, Harper, Lewis, I mean, excuse me, King, Archie, and Micaiah Fox. Nice press break. Top of the key, stop and pop. Three ball is good. That was Zach Brown playing out there with four fouls. No, excuse me, wasn't Brown. Harper draws the contact. That was Snyers. Harper going to go to the line to shoot two, but first we've got a timeout on the floor. Media timeout. Young Harris leads 63-62. A lot of time, 7:57. Mount Lion Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas. Ryan Smith and Paige Rayburn, your Passion Award winner for fan support tonight. I think Paige has won this every year. She's a senior, but I think she's won it every year since she's been here. I know she won it two years ago. Harper to line to shoot two free throws. And this has been a point of contention for Young Harris tonight. We're 12 of 21, 57.1%. And percentage drops. And these are guys that are, you know, the guys missing, they're 75 to 80% free throw shooters. Just been that kind of night. Gets a second. It's been a one or two night kind of night. Young Harris up by two. Three ball will give the Nighthawks the lead. Oh, and nearly got to that one. Seth McCoy wounded Eagle. Three ball. No good. McCoy with the board out to Harper looking to run. Hands it to McCoy. Gets a clean look at a three. Can't get it down. Cottrell and Brian Harper trying to avoid him, got him, and that's going to be ninth team foul. Cottrell going to shoot a one and one. Cottrell, two points tonight, one of four from the field, 0 of three from the arc. Hadn't been to the free throw line. Two boards, two assists, two steals. Young Harris gets a new unit in. Cottrell hits the first. Hits them both, and we're tied. A 
Owens puts it on the floor and gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's five on Brown. So the second player for North Georgia is fouled out. Brown and Dean fouled out a long time ago. His fifth coming on the technical. Mine are going to come back in. So again, Young Harris at the free throw line, a place that we've been often and not been very successful. Owen's been there one time, he hit it. Ryle's got eight, Young Harris got two players in double figures. Archie with 12, Harper with 10. Staple leads all scores with 20. Jenkins has got 12. Hits the first. And the second, that felt good. That leads back up to Young Harris coming with full court pressure. This full court man, they'll run and jump and look to trap out of it. Steeple in transition. Runner is good. Young Harris gonna quickly come right back at you. Harper works against Steeple. Owens down on the baseline to Collins. Harper, and they're going to get him for an offensive. And that's two on him, 10th, Tim foul. So we're tied at 66, North Georgia ball. Chamanga checks in, hadn't seen him in a while. And Miller nearly with the steal, just nearly. Paul does not mind giving his body up. Getting late, down to seven minutes. Young Harris in the 3-2. And feed down inside, reverse layup is good from Zach Brown. North Georgia has the lead. Cottage thought about the three. Three ball in and out. And out of bounds by look clearly to be out on North Georgia. North Georgia's going to get rewarded with the ball. Young Harris with a new unit in, and North Georgia can score here. The, their biggest lead has been two. They've had it three or four times. Score here, and it becomes a four or a five. Cottrell works against Harper, against Harper. Stepped on out of bounds, stepped on the baseline, no call. Three ball, no good. Archie with the rebound. Harper back to Archie, to McCoy. Pass a little higher, maybe get something. Harper gets mugged, but believe it or not, they do call the foul. Foul is on Schmanga. His third. So Harper will go the line to shoot two. He is five of eight from the free throw line. First good. I 
done a good job on Harper. I mean, if he's not in triple double range, which he's not right now. And the officials are asking the police to calm down our baseball players. My, aren't we sensitive? How would he do at a Duke game? Free throws good. And we're tied at 68. Young Harris now in the 1 3 1. First time we've seen this, I believe, tonight. Got King on the front end of it, Harper down low, and they score inside. And North Georgia retakes the lead, 70 68. Harper to King, he gets pushed out of bounds down on the line. So King to the free throw line. Jonathan's got three points, excuse me, seven points on the evening. Three of five from the free throw line. And a timeout is 30, we'll keep it right here. I want to remind you that Young Harris will be at Lander Saturday, 1.30 women's tip, 3.30 men's tip. A lot of action that day, full slate. Georgia Southwestern at Francis Marion, Columbus State at Augusta, Georgia College at Flagler, North Georgia at USC Aiken, UNC Pembroke at Clayton State. And I want to remind you that our next broadcast will be Tuesday, February the 4th from Zell B. Miller Field as the defending Peach Belt champions. Young Harris College will open their defense of their title. I'm not sure who they play, but John and I will be there on the Mountain Lion Sports Network powered by Ridgeline TV. 2 p.m. start. Look forward to it. Dress warm. Free, free throw woes continue. We've missed 11 of them, 12 of them. Look at the score, 70-68. Trailing by two, and it's getting late. Baseline jumper and we foul, and that's good. Chance for a three-point play. Foul was on Archie. Owens will check in for him. Basket was good by Jenkins. Gets a free throw. And North Georgia has its biggest lead of five. King with the ball, nice take, nice finish. Cuts it to three, Young Harris needs a stop. We have come out of the pressure, gone into a half court game. Three, two, three ball is good. And North Georgia has the momentum, leading by six. Owens back the other way. Scores quick, quickly in transition, cuts it to four. Getting late. North Georgia's got their shooting up to 54% on the game. They have shot 65% this half, and we don't get a rebound. They throw it away, needed that turnover. Yeah, they are 65%. They are 15 of 23 here in the second half. They have shot seven more field goals than we have. Where we've been shooting in this quarter is the free throw line where we're 13 of 22. And Harper loses the ball, steals it back. Can he hustle it in? Yeah, he can, gets it to Seth McCoy. Loses his shoe. 
Gets it back on. Gets it to King. King gonna drive, kick out to Owens. Back to King. Harper. And they can't get it down. They're gonna call goaltending. Gonna call goaltending, I believe. Got a timeout on the floor, 76-72. The Mountain Lions trail by four, 319 to go. Mountain Lion basketball, Rich Line TV. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Off the goaltending call, 78-72. Turnovers piling up for Young Harris. There are 22 turnovers. We have out-rebounded North Georgia, 30-25. Big possession here. Harper with the ball, working against the man. Got to have a bucket here. Owens going to spin off the glass, can't get it down. North Georgia with the board. Bucket here makes it really steep uphill. 2-3 zone, and they are hot. 65% this half. We've shot well, 48%, but they are just red hot. They're going to get a look at the three. No good, King with the board. And Harper gets knocked down, no call. Run out, and it's an eight point game and there isn't much time. Owens off the glass, gets it in, gets it back to a two possession game. Paul Miller getting ready to check back in. You gotta have a stop right here. Steeple with the ball, he's been so good tonight. Cottrell gonna shoot the three and it's good. And we got a timeout on the floor, 83-74. It's gonna be steep uphill for Mountain Lions. We're inside of two, Mountain Lion basketball, Ridgeline TV. When you combine quality products, excellent customer service, and the best prices in the area, the result is Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing. In business since 1963, Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing has served the surrounding area with a variety of home improvement supplies. Everything from vinyl siding in many colors, trim pieces, shutters, soffits, vents, and accessories. Hemp Hill Vinyl Siding and Metal Roofing, located west of Blairsville on Highway 515. All right, Young Harris, steep mountain to climb. Nine point game, we're inside of two minutes. Can't let them score, 
Can't have empty possessions. Can't waste a whole lot of time. Harper off the glass, up and in, seven points. Staple with the ball, they're gonna work the clock. Young Harris, this is, I think, is a must stop. Gotta know where Steeple is. Get the turnover. McCoy gonna get a clean look at a three. And it's gonna be a foul on North Georgia. McCoy couldn't get the three, but a foul. So Young Harris gonna get that opportunity to score with the clock not running. Owens at the line, 14 points on the evening, three of three from the free throw line. Oh, and another timeout. Nope, maybe not. Minor coming in for North Georgia. So that was. So that foul was on Brown, that's his fifth, so he is fouled out. Owens hits a free throw. And I think that's the story of the night for young Harris. One of two from the free throw line. That's our, I think our 13th miss. Yeah, we've missed 13 from the free throw line. You know, we've shot the ball well, good, good three ball percentage, nine of 18. Good from the field, 49%. But the 58% from the free throw line, and we've been there a lot. That's what's done Young Harris in tonight and large, and that's not the only thing, but still got a chance, but it's thin. It's three possession game. Owens, he's gonna have a good tight, tight, oh man, chance for a three point play there. So the deficit is eight, 56 seconds. Owens leads Young Harris with 15. Steeple's got 24. Jenkins 22 for North Georgia. They're only two players in double figures. Archie's got 12. Harper's got 14. Archie had 10 at the break. Owens hits them both. Harper, that's going to be Young Harris' ball. That's going to be Young Harris' ball. Two possession game, three ball gets you within one. Great play by Harper. He makes things happen. To McCoy. Three balls, good! Young Harris has cut it to three. 85-82, here we come. 30-second timeout. Might be the longest 40-minute game in the history of mankind, but we still in it. Keep it right here, 85-82, both teams in the double bonus. A big thing in this one is possession error belongs to Young Harris. Keep that in mind. Young Harris don't have to foul here. We can play aggressive defense. Harris wasn't too long ago that we were down. A minute, a minute and seven seconds to go, ago, we were down by nine points. We've cut it to three. Chris Collins telling the baseball players, help us out, guys. 
50.1 seconds. North Georgia will be inbounding under the basket. Cottrell to inbound. Young Harris and a man. He's looking maybe to go long. They hit the middle. Just got to get a stop here. Young Harris extending their zone. It's a one, two, two. Got to know where Steeple is. Cottrell who hit a dagger a moment ago. Two on the shot clock. They're not going to get a shot off. No good. Young Harris with the board. 16 seconds. Ryle Owens. Don't get the runner, and I'm not sure what the hurry was. 8.4 seconds. You just got to pray for a miss here. Shimonga at the line. 53% shooter. Thing is, he's shooting two. Hits the first one, and that just about does it. Gets a kind bounce on the second one. Harper going to shoot the three, and he banks it in. Two-point game. you got to have the ball here. Got to have the ball. North Georgia going to call a timeout. We don't have one. It's a 30, so really, I think maybe they helped us there. We get a chance to draw us up some offense. Eighty-seven, eighty-five, four point three seconds to go. It is North Georgia ball. Wouldn't be surprised if they go long. Just got to really deny we're going to put pressure on the inbounder. Just simply got to have the ball. Harper, quick foul. Foul steeple which you know they would love to get the ball in his hand. Sixty-five percent free throw shooter. Hit them both game over. Hit one, miss one, you leave the door open. It's a first, so that means Young Harris got to have a three to tie, but hits this one. And he hits it, and that just about does it, don't it? McCoy going to shoot the three at the buzzer. It's good, but Young Harris going to come up a point short. 89-88. Tough loss for Young Harris. Led the majority of the game, led about 71% of the game, but turned the ball over more, I know, than Coach Curry would like to, but man, oh man, oh man. Missed 13 free throws, 80, 89, 88. So we got work to do. We got a long road stretch. We're still in this thing as far as getting back into the playoffs but we're going to have to beat some people on the road. Didn't call whole home court tonight. Come up short, 89-88. Young Harris led in scoring. Owens with 17. Harper with 17. Archie with 12. 
Young Harris will hit the road Saturday. Tough loss for our ladies. Played well, but found out what it's like at the top of the ladder. Our next broadcast will be Tuesday. Young Harris baseball gets underway. John and I will be there on the Mountain Line Sports Network. Tough night in the Valley of Doom as we drop both, 89-88 on that one. Mountain Line Basketball, Ridgeline TV. Sideline coverage at tonight's game is provided by Dr. Sturton and the Union General Sports Medicine Program. Taking care of our community's athletes as well as those of all ages who simply wish to stay active. Call for an appointment today. The Young Harris Mountain Lions are also sponsored by Adidas.